hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 breeze crud application so guys in previous video we have done with the insert of student data using laravel breeze and now in this video we will be learning how to fetch those data using laravel breeze okay so guys now let's get started so first let's uh, add a tab over here of students and fetch the form so let's get back to our editor Okay, it's all messed. Let me close all the files. First step, let's go to routes, web.php and create a route, guys. So let's begin with the students route with the index function. So let's create the index function in the student controller. Okay, so let's move to the student controller. Control E. Here we move it student controller and now let's call the function so public function with the name index function and you are going to return and view for the display data where student at index let's copy and create a file resource views where I have created a student folder inside that I'm going to create a index.blade.php file all set so now guys uh, let me copy my create code and include that okay let's paste here so two divs are extra let's copy that above code also i mean div type so here we copy this paste all set guys and now you can just call your table design so table where add the class table table bordered and your table head so table row table heading th id name email and phone and finally edit and delete button and now guys let's create the table body where table row and now table data so over here you are going to loop your data of students and show the output so guys now let's get back to our student controller at index function only we are going to create a variable called students okay so student model colon colon where you are going to fetch all the data all set let's copy this and just add comma and send in compact function so compact function just send the students okay so in laravel 9 there are another method also you can directly pass in array format and directly you can send this dollar student so it depends how you require it okay so compact is much comfortable let's get back and at this table row let's use for else okay for else so where you will find the student if records exist student then you are going to show else you can tell no record found now you can cut this and paste after this table row so yep let's copy and paste here over here you can see 3 plus 3 6 call span is equal to 6 column and you can tell no record found if the record founds you can just dollar student of id name email phone and a, a tag button for edit where you can add the class for button button primary and set the path over here so for path we will see in next video about how to edit and update the record so right now i'm going to just give a home slash okay so yep let's copy and paste for the delete button and make this to danger 
that's it let's save and now guys let's see the output okay refresh we need to go to students route okay you can see that guys the data has come but the table design did not work i think the bootstrap is not included but uh, breeze uses tailwind css so if you require you can just go and google to that tailwind css and here i see that some codes it's a lot of code it's let's copy this and check the output here we paste so for the same okay now you can see the output it's working fine so guys uh, like if you want to design you can just use and design this so i'm going to use bootstrap so let me just add the bootstrap code guys um, this tailwind is css are too lengthy okay yep and let me just go to the get bootstrap.com and here i go docs and just copy the css link that's it copied get back and go to your what app layout right so let's move to the layout app blade.php and just paste the code let me just remove this integrity not required so this is my bootstrap cdn link and now let's see the output what's the difference refresh here you see perfect design so guys let us just align this also correctly okay it's it's not table at table body and then i got messed yep let's save and refresh perfect so guys i have just added the bootstrap cdn link and it's done so guys now let us add that navbar over here i mean the students url yep let's go to our navigation and inside that navigation we have add the student let's copy and paste and here let's make it to students copy students and make it to students let's refresh cool so you can find that students and add students so let me just add one more student varun varun at gmail.com some number let's click save button saved student added successfully and let's go to student view here you see the third record inserts so guys in this video that's it and let's continue in next video about how to edit and update the record in laravel 9 breeze okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share